Are you looking for a way to be able to play games without having to store all those games on your hard drive or carry around all those discs? Well, guess what? Cloud gaming is here. It's great. It's available and it's coming up here shortly. Welcome back, I'm Nasser Tag. Thanks for coming to my channel. Um, I am really excited about this. I've been playing it now for about a week. It's available on early release for Amazon. It's called Luna. It's actually a game controller. Uh, it's, it's streamable on your PC, on Fire Stick, on Fire Stick 4K. Sorry about that, I had an itch on my nose. Um, it's available for early release. It's not available quite yet for everybody. However, it is coming soon. Uh, I actually got an offer to be able to try it for um, for early release. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually bring my thing up here to take a look at what's going on here. So what it is is that you know if you've got games that you can download from Epic Games, um, which has Fortnite and the other games, um, plus a, a plethora of other games, or even Steam. If you're familiar with those, this is actually going to be a competitor. Um, however, this is all in the cloud. Um, it uses Ubisoft. They've got a partnership with Ubisoft um, as well as some other games. Now they are going to be rolling out more games as they come along. The controller is available. However, you don't necessarily need to use the controller. You can use your Xbox controller or your PlayStation controller. Now I have both PlayStation 4 and Xbox, um, uh, Xbox One and the Xbox One controller does work for it. I tried it out. It works great. Um, however, this is the controller that they use. Uh, now, as you can see, it's got an extra button here, right here. This is the Amazon um, button. I'm not going to say it because I don't want to trigger my, my device. Um, you can actually talk to it. Uh, however, it, it does have a, a headset port. It didn't work with one of my pairs of headphones. However, I do have another pair of headphones I'm going to try. The buttons work great. The controllers are awesome. Um, it's very similar to that of the Xbox controller. Um, it, it works wirelessly with your Fire Stick, and that's how I've been playing it. Now, I um, recently, um, I have not tried it yet on the PC, but if it runs anything like on the Fire Stick, uh, it runs awesome. 4K is coming. It's not available quite yet. Um, the standard version uses 10 gigs an hour. So if you have Xfinity, you're going to be burning through your terabyte of data quick. And then they're going to start hitting you with the, the 50 bucks extra a month for going over a terabyte. Let's take a look at some of the games. Now, you probably don't recognize some of these. I mean, you do, do probably recognize Steep and Grid and Tacoma, Monopoly, Crew. Um, Victor Varan is similar to that of Diablo. However, it uses guns and it uses um, handheld weapons like hammers, swords, and other handheld, like sickles. Um, it, they do not have classes, so you do have three different types of un uniforms you can wear that give you different perks. Um, Victor Varan is a, is a pretty fun game. I, I really like it. I've been playing it quite a bit. Um, there are two plans. The standard plan is $5.99 a month. Uh, and that comes with um, games like Steep, Grid, Victor Varan, No More Heroes, um, most of these games. However, Monopoly Plus, The Crew, Steep, and Far Cry are on the Ubisoft plan, which is $14.99 a month. Um, the Two Point Hospital is part of the plan, standard plan, as well as A Plague's Tale, A Plague Tale, and Surge Two, uh, along with Control, Metro, and Grid. Resident Evil is also available. This is the Sonic, the Sega games. Uh, it comes with a whole bunch of different Sega, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog games. Um, these are actually the Ubisoft. It is in beta. It's still in testing. However, they do offer full full games. Um, if we take a look at the um, um, the streaming, I'm just going to click on this as an example here. I'm just going to show you how it works. Um, oh, so it runs in full screen, um, and now it does take up to a couple minutes to load. But you got to keep in mind this is on in the cloud. Um, it, it varies. It doesn't sometimes doesn't take very long to connect. However, it does have to download something, right? I wanted to show you 
the frames per minute on this just to show you how this actually works. I'm really excited about this whole this whole online streaming. All right. So as we get into here, you can actually come down here down to options and you can actually do a benchmark test on this. And what this does is this tests the frame rates per second. Um, or the FPS. Now what you want to be able to do is you want to be able to have 59 to 60 frames per second to be able to run a game smoothly. Now the 4K game will probably run a little bit faster. I haven't run a bench test on that because the 4K is not available yet. Um, this is one thing I really like about this is that this actually will test your frame rates per second. So as you can see, it runs pretty good. I, I know it's a little glitchy on my recording. However, as I look at right now on my screen, it's running really nice. Um, 4K is coming, as I said, um, but keep in mind, this is where it runs at about 50, 40, 59 to 60 frames per second. And this will run through on average. It's, it's a great game um, for being able to test your benchmark of your streaming. And there you have it. 59 to 60 um, frames, 59 to 60, 59 to 60 um, plus frames per second. This is a great um, way to be able to benchmark your streaming app. So anyways, I just wanted to show that to everyone. Uh, again, my name is Ashtag. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.